Rolling back straight away, not interested in early contact, doesn't necessarily buy him too much time, already up short. And towards the site they go, Molly to force them out into the site, you can see Zipex is burning a lot on that one, down to 11, before he can even start to fire his pistol off again. Config has taken down Majeski, faking it out, this is a ballsy play, oh. and Device has no issues in beheading him. I'm not sure what the big play was there, now that smokes have gone down, he already had to go for that plant, and now Poison, he'll have to do the same, but they will putting a couple of kills back in. Nice work from Blame F, that's a PD50 towards the sandbag position, of Dupree, full control of this bomb. It's still a minute and ten on the clock, but Oboe goes down, that should be the round at this point, Zipex might confirm it, they know exactly what Blame F is. Nine bullets left in the PD50 after this, and it will be Dupree to close things out with it. A more difficult to break through, oh. but Oboe's found an opening. That's going to be Dupree removed now. Yeah, I don't think he realized an individual had slipped on under. Ooh, I like this one, Blexi. You can see they've got their set pieces down for the new design B bomb site and the boost. It's good for one. Ooh, Maybe a second two. there, but Config will be down at 44. Still a chance here for Astralis, of course, in the three versus four, but Config, you're right. I feel like he should have gone down there. Zippy's in no man's land here. There's no cover. We will keep talking about this. The fact that he's just jiggling into this is so brave. The trade should come, but is he going to get away? Even able well to dip on out. So that's good stuff from Zipex right there. Yeah, we need a name key. for it. Could it could it just be called drop? It's another drop of sorts. Yeah, up and over. Like in train in 1.6, what we nice. would call hump for connector. Look at this. A new angle the device is working with. Really underexposed. You can only see the tip of his head. And Blame with three to find and 30 seconds to do it. It doesn't look favorable, that's for sure. One thing I will say about the B-bomb side is, when I was on the T side especially, walking around the bomb side, like, these are actually viable fights now. Uh, this is more standard, though. This is complexity just working the default towards the A-ramp. Wait for the smokes oh. to go down or get shot through them as device will find the first. So that's the smoke Blame was throwing. 40 seconds. Astralis know it, they can hear it, the pins are pulling, there's lots of steps, and still no oh one is acknowledging the sandbag. Zipex, now he chooses to strike, and with a back turn, Poison goes down, looking to survive, buy some time, the flash is good, and another frag for Zipex before he's felled. Bomb needs to be retrieved, Bomb needs to be planted, and they haven't even got the frags <laughs> to open up the site. They are getting absolutely decimated out there, boys. Config left in a four versus one, but Zipex, he has won the round single-handedly. Oh, here we go. Here's the fight to change of pace. It's a very fast one, and Rush has already found the first. Zipex, no funny business by the sandbags in round eight. He's been eliminated, but things might slow down. Still trying the wall bangs, Obo giving it a good shot. How much damage... Does it do now? A great question. Uh, yeah, I need to uh, work that one out. I never really was going to get the wall bangs on this map as Rush. He'll be finding his second frag of the round. Number eight here, going to do the first four complexity. Rush certainly seems to think so. Smoke goes down in the glaive. Is he going to be flashed through? Yes, he sneaks in. Works out for him. Gets a headshot, but oh. takes a lot of damage. Yeah, he's managed to get away as well. Quick strafe in towards the elevator position. Poison's trying to find the right angles. He knows the CT's lurking on the other edge of those smokes. There's still a minute on the clock. Poison will catch another bullet, two bullets in fact, he's still alive and still planting and now Blame's got another. Bomb, Bomb down. does not go down, Glaive makes sure of that. A two versus three, still looks very good for complexity but Blame he needs that frag and he's got another one. Glaive has single-handedly defended A so far. This is a nightmare again, it's the bomb that's the problem, they can't get it down but still a good chance here. Two on two, they have the HP advantage and need to recover Ooh. that C4. Obo. He might find the, the kill that could do so. Go for the fake plant here and gets the final kill. It's the first round of the ball for complexity, but they had to really work for their glaive with three in total wasn't quite enough in the two on two. They have conditioned them somewhat. Majors have been super aggressive, boosted up almost every single round device there sometimes as well. Now he's actually going to be tested in a deep ball. They have to come through middle. Good flashbang, config, opening kill, focusing towards get the, this uh, construction Ooh, position. Oh, baby, this is feeling like that mid B split you were talking about, Hank. But Dupree, he's standing his ground. He sees an elbow exposed, but Oboe from behind. He strikes 2v2. Oboe looking for another. He knows there's another defender. Device on quad. Much more open Ooh. now and running out of chances. Oboe. Relocating. Zipex in the meantime does force him into a one versus two. He's got to do it all and Device makes it work. We don't know how this one's going to shape up, right? So historically it's a T-sided map, but maybe with these True. changes it, yeah. could, it could just swing. We have no idea, I suppose, and that's going to be Glaive on the bomb. Call the rotations in, boys, and Glaive gets away again. How does he keep slipping away every single time? They can't take him down. And Magus, he'll be looking for all the frags here. Gets the bomb down once again, but Config Ooh. does find Hello. an opening. Yeah, it's going to be making the way forward. It's like, it's one of these rounds, you, 
They shouldn't win it here. There's going to have to take something remarkable, like an amazing headshot to open things up. Not going to happen, unfortunately. Low HP, just waiting for a CT Can I just note as well that Device was already positioned in the perfect distance for the typical Molly on boost so that he could still hold that line on ramp? And then, oh, okay, Config did meet his maker in the smoke. It looked like for a second he could have caught Glaive off guard. Another default towards the A side of the map. You can see they've only really challenged middle oh, a couple of times. And Device gets the opening kill once again. Poison with the AK took the challenge. Gets a lot more than he bargained for. And back towards middle, they go potentially here. They've been locked out. That angle that Device was opting for Ouch. looks so foreign. He's found it. He knows it. And wins it. Angle from Magisk, however, is taken down. It and off we go. Glaive looking to use that smoke to reposition to a more aggressive line. He's hearing the steps. He's confirming it's an assault. And Debris already hit the first on the cross. Could be a second on the cards, but not today. Glaive's trying to rat it, oh, trying like to nutmeg through the smoke. They're aware of it and Blame Spotted converts it. That frag could very well determine the round. Zipex is the one to fight back for Astralis. And he takes the duel and loses. All onto one man. Device thrown into a one versus two clutch. Oh. And he can't even pull the trigger. Blame <laughs> securing the double. Well, Device gets himself 650 residual cash and go for a helmet. Uh, definitely got a chance of winning this, but Dupree will have to step up. Zipex with a scout. Nails the shot. <laughs> Obo just kept completely removed there. But it looks like they're going to commit the one-way smoke down from the CT. So we saw that before from Glaive. Can he make it work again? There was two zoom bangers out today. Zoom bang a light, however, is the one to be doing the damage. Double from Zipex. Still haven't seen Dupree's oh, orb, and no. there's another three, four from Zipex in total. Device holds a tighter angle. And no toolbox anymore, dodging the flashbangs here, and he is alone. Hits two. Ooh. Make it three. <laughs> oh, the nade didn't take Flame down. Just the little shrapnel into his ankle down to two. Oh, it looks so good for Dupree or Alex. I don't see a wild ache this one up. The flashbangs are decent, though. But Glaive, he's been unstoppable. 20 kills to his name. Final round of this first half now. Looking to mow them down once again. It'll be major to open things. Double and double kill. Triple. Make it a triple. And Poison, he's left now with the same task ahead of him. Needs three kills in total, but Molotov's flying in. It's going to be 12-3 on Complexity's pick. One thing to note is Glaive is on the Tech 9. Oh. <laughs> People are missing nades left and right. Take an extra <laughs> second to make sure their nades work and device straight through middle. He's working. Fine. Oh, the Molotov there was a lot of fun, that's for sure, but this is not the complexity. Rush now needs at least two kills here as they try and probe towards B. They don't have to fully commit, but him they come. Burst fire on the Glock here, but it might be taken down. Five versus one. Good luck, Poison, my friend. He's towards the elevator right now. Smoked off, and he does get a kill back, but he keeps up his position. Bomb down. It could be the game already. Complexity, only get one kill. How are you getting into the site now? I don't know. Like, th this is impossible. That was really good from Astralis. They steamrolled middle. They took advantage of the CTs. Had to be passive with the pistols. They had good flashes. They got up close and personal. Once you get control of that construction position, you completely isolate the B players from any rotators that can That's come on what through. That's wanted to see, though, Exactly. Right? <laughs> well, but using it as a rifle in the same way you would the M4, it, hold, it holds more weight now. It's a, it's a viable alternative. Let's see what they've got for B. Astralis got lineups in store oh, for us. thank God. Yeah, this is more like it. This is what you want to see. Yeah. You've got B control, and then you don't have full execution there. Where do these smokes land, though? Are they going into B or...? Yeah, okay, so one... Oh, look at this. Oh, this is more like it. there we go. They've been in the lab, boys. <laughs> Zonic, a look smirk on his face. And we can see Obo dealing well with the first challenge. Glaive's gone down. He'll be coordinating things from the sideline now, and... Can see an update from the games that are happening simultaneously to this one there for Group A. Config's burning! Config's burning! Will extinguish! He's under a lot of pressure now. Dupree has the sight and they're going to be throwing out the molly of their own creation. Since we do see two versus five established. Just Device now. Looks like Complexity will live to fight another day. Device to clutch a 1v5. I mean, he's good. But I'm I think he's sure going to do it. <laughs> I, I actually think he's going to do well. it. The flash is too strong, surely. There it is. If he wasn't blind, uh, there was a chance. We're looking for the conclusion of Astralis Cole, and uh, a lot of people would expect to see Complexity convert this one rather... Um, excuse me, not convert this one. We're expecting to start setting our sights on Nuke, and Config's already lost his life. Could very well be the beginning of the end. Obo thinks otherwise, though. A good spray connecting keeps it level. Yeah, they needed that, that's for sure. And it's all firing off bullets now. Flame trying to conflict some sort of damage here, but the grenades, they actually could be pretty promising. Not so much. Zipex only takes nine damage, and the Molotov towards the corner will send them packing here. The CTs might have to go back to more defensive lines with a swing from scaffolding. Is that coming through? Indeed it is. And Blame F makes the orb work. Only good for one, though, and it's up to Rush here. Three versus two. One minute 15 on the clock. They can recover the bomb. Glaive and Zipex with smokes, flashes. We'll see whether this is... Oh, Obo goes away at the worst possible time. So that enables Glaive to get mid-control now. He comes back. 
Oh, we that's going to be close, but Glaive nails it. Smoke down towards elevators now. They've got a chance here towards B. Yeah, it's wide open. Zipex is going to walk on in. He's even got the bomb. Oh, it's working so well. Poison to rotate. Bomb plant for B stairs. So they have got the kits, an incendiary, but Zipex, this looks too good. Poison, aware of the potential push, but down he goes. Oh. And it's construction, and it will be Zipex to close things out. 16 <laughs> to 4, a fantastic performance there from Astralis on Complexity's map pick. So Astralis on the T side, very aggressive towards outside. We will see the first shots coming from Blame F, but not connecting just yet. Oh. It's going to be the first shot for Majors. So P250's out in full force here, two of them, as they navigate their way towards lower. Oh, back they go. Back they actually, they everyone them. goes back. Free top side, look at this. Oh no, they ah. gobbled it up. They got out the knife and fork, they sliced it up and they ate the bait. That's nasty. Now all in hell and device, well he can cause hell. That's all the util on Obo. Fortunately he lives to fight another day. He could flash config in. Oh, the smoke's pretty wonderful as well here. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. He can't, could he flash through? I mean, he could still throw the flash, but their options getting more and more limited now. They're going for main. Yeah, this is a, a nine meta. They still have an HE, a smoke, a flashbang, and a fuse kit, but it looks like Astralis are way too comfortable at this point, and you can see that reflected now in the fragging. Another headshot delivered there by Dupree, and now just poor old Oboe. One kill to his name, three to find. First shot could be his, but Dupree says no. And a very, very important pistol there for Astralis, and a T set of nuke. Just made us down towards lower. The rest of them focusing towards a heaven push, but looks of things there. Blame it gets the bomb. And this is the lobby push coming in now. You're looking like a very promising round for complexity, but Glaive finds an opening again, and Poison hasn't looked his best today. Ubo's the only one there to receive for now, and a prime position to at least find one. Magic with nades in his hand is only chipped away at. Oh, you got to hit those, Obo. He's uh, had a couple of misses so far, but Poison should be able to make up for it. The Molotov is everything. Oh, the so timing. Good. Now they will get the bomb down here. Astralis are clawing this round back once again, but Magus goes down now. Four and two. Glaive left a device. What is he supposed to do here? Glaive, you've, you've made some hero plays and a double kill. Well, that's a fantastic way to start. He's not expecting a third from ramp. Rush does manage to find the necessary frag, jiggling the doors. Device won one clutch, but this, this just seems too tall of an order. No how two players to find and Ooh. just gets up out of the line of sight. Doesn't He's, not gonna check the bomb. He's not going to do it again. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't even have a look. He didn't even check it. And now Rush He's gets caught. Cool. He's going to oh! win it again, Device. <laughs> He saves the day for Astralis. These guys just too good. He's as just, cool as ice. Yeah, device. These ones are interesting, right? They use the timing of these smokes. The warehouse smoke, oh, as the spam comes through, it won't actually land too much damage. It looks a little bit scarier than it is. But the Deagle from Config, that'll actually come on through with the assist onto Glaive. He's been the danger man right now, and Config wants more. Can't take down Zippy. We'll do his best, but the trades continue here in Astralis. They're pushing through. But looking very efficient as well. You can see the communication is very good for the days today. Spotted one towards the nest position. That's going to be Poison. Two and three. Desert Eagle. No armor. Blame F towards Garrett. He's done a lot of damage so far. He's going to find a bomb here. That goes down. 35 That's seconds. Huge. They can actually do this. Yeah, now for the first time this map, Astralis are going to be flustered. They do not have control of the bomb. They do have a numbers disadvantage and blame. He's actually going for a more passive hold of that bomb. He knows time is of the essence for Astralis. Yeah, every second he can find here is going to be valuable. 20 remaining now. They've got no smoke for the pick up the C4. They've got a few flashes. There's no way Astralis can win How this round. How do they win this round? There shouldn't be a way. And that's it converted. Nice work from Blame. It was all him at the end of the day. He's got a different trajectory. And oh. that's an open up from the preserved orb. Glaive throws it over to Device and Device happy to find first blood. Through the smoke, more successful spray. Good grief, look at the damage. But Magisk does shut Blame down. Thing is, that's unconfirmed damage as well. It's through the smoke, they're not sure how much is done there. But Config, up for the fight at least. He's cool, they're not going towards lower. He might get away with a couple of kills yeah. here. He's really quick on this he, chase. He's, he's got to do something right. He can't just let them have full access to his lower or upper. He needs to make a play, and he could save the day with the damage inflicted towards Magic and Glaive. They're not watching Secret at oh, all. Oh, yeah. Here we go. First kill's good him, and the second's beautiful. That was stunning. Two very quick kills from Config with backs turned, and now Astralis scramble. This is where we've seen Complexity convert the rounds. If they can manifest some chaos within the Danish T side, suddenly they've got to deal with this unforeseen circumstance of Config. And that's the frag they needed. Of course it's Glaive. 
And that's the frag they needed. Of course it's Glaive. What a rascal. He's got 20 seconds. His teammates are going up heaven. Where's the bomb? It's on Glaive's back. What's the play here? There's no CTs lower at all. They're both in the lobby position right now. So the bomb does go to they have lower. to go ladder. They're in a great spot. There's 10 seconds remaining. The CTs are here. They should be able to win this one now. We'll see the first kill for Dupree, but now oh, three no. players remaining. They'll be absolutely fine there. He'll have to fall back and reposition himself as they come towards main entrance, knowing that upper should be relatively clear. Certainly should be. Just the USP needs two dinks. Rush gets them. Again? Config as well onto Magis. Could they really pull it off with just USP? That should still go their way, but Config, despite they knew where his M4 was, he's held top sight down. If he can clear out Poison before his teammates arrive, he finds the angle. A 2v5 on the cards. Glaive aggressive on ramp. He's got so many. Overwhelmed. It only gets the one. A one versus three for Zipex, the clutch minister. Bear in mind, they have no armor, no kits, and Zipex knows it. Similar storylines to what Device had in the first half. First kill is his. Config goes down. The Dage Man so far. They have to go for a full defuse here. They pretty much have to guarantee that comes in. First kill for Zipex. Does he make his way towards the bomb? He certainly does. And is there time to defuse? There's not. He's done it once again in a three versus one. He's going to take them up to 6 3 here. Complexity on the eco. It felt good. The fact they brought it down to a one versus one is great, but not quite enough to win the round. Well, upper rush changing the pace here. It's a good flashbang and a good grenade as well. It's doing significant damage towards the T's. Rush will find one and Comping needs a couple here. There's so much chaos and pandemonium ensuing towards upper at this stage. It's still a three on three, but a headshot connects towards Oboe. And it does six damage. <laughs> six damage into the head. And now, device is dead. We'll get traded. 2v2. Bomb ticking in favor of Astralis, and Poison's coming in from main. He's made no secret of that. Poison, that's a nasty gap in their info. The transfer is huge from Blame. Got Kit up. on his back, and he pulls home the fourth. Ooh. Ooh. Blame F now. Dancing around the smoke. The teammate oh. goes down, but damage has been inflicted. If he swings now, he's got to kill, but Magus will tuck himself in. Still towards the CT blue box. This is a big kill. Poison will pull one back. The Blame F is dropped. Double kill for the sniper now. And they actually have the man advantage out of nowhere. Yeah, Config's the one playing it. Dupree's taking the bomb down lower, though. Maybe a frag and events. Ooh, he wants to make it look good. A frag, though. Config will start to deploy his utility. He wants to find Poison, and Poison's waiting for it as well. Well played by Complexity. They take the lead on the CT half, but it was Poison's turn to step up to the plate. But now that we're seeing Nuke be played by almost everybody, it seems like everybody's had to pick up Nuke because a lot of teams don't want to play Vertigo. The map's had a lot of innovation, and Astralis have had to copy quite a bit. Well, this time, Blame will get taken down. And the Incendiary as well, just to make sure that no one can be challenging Secret as they start their walk. I say that. Oboe's got intentions of his own. Throws out the incendiary that doesn't quite achieve his desired goal. I say that with the back turned. He strikes and cuts down Glaive to half. Poison has drawn first blood as well. 4v4. Oh, bro. Oh, he's so cooked. Device, the one to put the spit on the Barbie. Now, Config only getting the one. Spacing from Astralis effective. 2v2 with 25. Well, that bomb can go both sides. And now Rush has eliminated the threat. Dupree, gone. And poison. Oh, oh wolf! Poison was holding heaven, but with a sweet little brief by Magis has got himself in a winnable 1v1. He certainly has, Alex, and there is a kit as smoke available for Rush, not out of the round by any stretch of the imagination, but they know exactly where he is now. Magis hears him in the vents. He'll hold towards the double doors, and he has absolutely nailed it. We'll see where this works out for him. <laughs> A hey, picture perfect end. They get the final round at 8 7 half. Inseparable between Astralis and Complexity. Zipex, the only one that's really there for the info here. And he's seeing so much. He's greedy for the frag. A dink on Swobo and a dink in return. Oh. And more damage inflicted. This time it's Glaives 5 7 through the smoke. He's going to catch one eventually. Obo falls. Zipex onto another. It's just Config and Poison doing their very best. There's a lot of low HP Danes and now descending. Ooh, oh, Poison. They die. Okay. <laughs> that would have the sucked. as well. Uh, so a four versus two, but still their woes continue. They have to try and get that bomb down towards the site. And Poison with seven HP, it doesn't look too promising for them. Config is in the vents right now. He is, and he's left his teammates towards the double doors. With 35 seconds remaining, I'm not sure the play's going to be here, boys. No flashes, no smokes. They have to hope for a PD-50 kill, and then go from there. Yeah, Config's going to go and try and find this duel with Device, but look how passive he's playing it. Look how calculated he's playing it. And now, just as he starts to concede and realize he has to commit to the site, the flank begins. Good frag from Config. Bomb retrieved. Aware of the oh. flank, and he's found, oh, he's he's found them all! Quad kill. One man remains. It's Magisk. 12 HP, a single bullet from the P250. 
He's still got friction burns on his wrist from the last frag, but he's got a chance now for the full ace clutch. Tucks in on the corner, manages to save the day. A single bullet from either of these pistols can confirm it should it be precise. Oh, this is massive. One oh, versus config. one. Config for the ace here. He didn't even reload. He has three bullets. Precision is a requirement. Time now. And he's walking straight oh. to the line. Magisk, that right eye peak. It works out wonderfully. Oh. Back in the Dignitas days, and they were a that's bit of a, a dynamic point. duo. Yeah, Magus uh, got dropped from the team, ended up in Astralis. Pretty let's wild. not forget Config was a candidate to join Astralis for a while. That's as well. true. His teammate trying to be cannon fodder as they make their way towards ramp. And that's a great shot. You can see Config's feeling it. If they're yeah. going to win this map, it's to be down to him. This early is 21st frag found, and it's a big one. Opens up ramp entirely. Now towards the lower site. Could get caught out with nades in his hand. He wants to be gun on. They do get a secondary rifle on Rush, and now that's drawn blood too. And they're going to have to save the little they have. A scout, an org, and a UMP. We could be on for a real game, a nuke here. Well, we're going to be picking up the pace regardless. It's going to be Rush barreling through the squeaky doors and actually gets himself in towards the vent position here. His teammate's just throwing smokes now. So this is all by design. It's going to get one player down there safely, which they've done with SMG as well. Wasn't a huge risk. And now oh, Clay no. battling back with the UMP here. It might be enough for two kills. Two. They line up for him. The grenades are looking pretty spot on as well. It's now four versus three. Remember, this is the oh, investment no. from Astralis as they make their way in towards the back lines here. That's a dink and the bomb found. Oh, went from bad to worse that round right there. Rush is lower, but he's on his own. The rest of the team are getting mauled. Going to be seeing the lineup and the smoke for main. They might want to hit, hit top right quick here. Two already out. First frag for Dupree, but traded. And already I hear a bomb plan. That's ridiculous. This is a fast-paced round like nothing else. One minute, 28 on the clock, and we got ourselves a 3v3. Take it found for device and Molotov towards top. Flash in, and in they go. Oh, we're forcing him into the close fight. The MP9 can find the frag. It's worked out wonderfully, but only for the first. More to overcome. Poison in the close CT vent, and he has lost his life. Spray does not connect. Bomb is so close, though. Glaive has to hold this. He still has a smoke, but he's going to be exposed, and that's how you win the round. Blame plays for the only frag that mattered, and now he can retreat and happily see the 10th on the board. Same smoke line up for Rush here. Does take quite a lot of damage from the Molotov, and that will cost him his life. Dupree, though, similar sort of scenario, but Glade oh. mowing them down. Dupree will chime in as well, and Blame F left in a four versus one. Does damage towards the upper bomb site, and Zipex knows he's being focused towards Trophy. He'll just fall back at this stage. Let's try and hightail it towards the ramp area. He's done so well to actually yeah, get out of I here. Just, I, I feel like Blame F still gets him, which he does. Wow, I was about <laughs> to give Zipex so much credit. He could see that he had to knife out, make as much noise as he could, but still Blame gets him. Oh, Does he yeah. check it out? Yeah. He, he, he sees the leg. He could die off the time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nice kill, though. All the same. Nice work from Dupree and 13 to 10. And he didn't save the AK. He's going to feel quite hard done by, even though he can buy on in again and they can get their it? drops across. It's just that he spent so much time and could have done so much work, but Astralis staying really tight and taut, not giving too much away. And now they can start to build that bank, but they need to be clean. They need to be keeping three or four players alive. For the next couple of rounds, yeah. at least. They need to break down the money. Other T's, and we've talked about it before on Vertigo, especially Device. Loves to move things around and catch you off guard, and that's exactly what happens to Blame F there. Didn't see the orb pushing into all that position, and now at the five on four. Great stuff at Device. Yeah, that's exactly what he was bringing to, to Vertigo as well. Harder to manifest on Nuke, but he does it all the same. And now straight oh, towards the oh, they no! oh, Both of them! Knife out for Device, and now descending very aggressively. Trying to perhaps fake it out, because I'm seeing turn tails. It's up to Glaive. He's called them. And they will pull one back. Three versus two now. May just push towards that hub position. Does give them a kill back in their favor. But they're going towards the heaven position now. Molotov to come through. May just can send them on the other side. Flashes to come in. I feel like he gets a couple of kills. It poisons low, but it's the heart. He doesn't... Con wow. Doesn't consider so it So they've all. mollied front hut, assuming that he's going to stop watching that position, knowing no one can come out, and they get the kill, and now Dupree is left to pick up the pieces. This is a... D he's oh, been spotted. Oh, he's perfect. And through the smoke, he's getting shot at. Complexity poised on their T side of Nuke up against the very big dogs of this map. Outside smokes. Device hears them, and it's time for him and Glaive to spring to life. Device's responsibility for now is Silo. Glaive to hold the cross. He's going to be Molotov into the fight. He'll take that and fall back. 
And here's another chance. He's been spotted and on the way back. Rush gets the info. They've managed to locate the orb and not far off through the wall. Accelerating. Majeski can hear the steps. He's got to hit some spectacular deagle shots and he does catch one. Looking for a second into the oboe. Tags him up. All onto poison. No. Quick flick already. Can't find the third. Astralis. They avoid match point. And this is ballsy. This is very premature. Oh, he wasn't expecting. He assumed they'd all cross. He heard steps. It was only one. Blame F crossing, baited device, and they were waiting. Now with only a shotgun, Magisk has to defend lower. Well, at least he hasn't crossed over yet. He's got something working in his favor in that regard. Does drop a smoke and pretty much forces the hand for at least the next 20 seconds. Oh, config. I like the movement. Looking very assertive today. Confident as well. 33 kills. A key frag here, though. Jumps up towards heaven. His teammates are going to be spotted. One's removed. Ovo surely gets the trade. They've lost so much map territory here. Astralis are under a lot of pressure. Dupree has to get this kill here to alleviate a little bit of it, but Rash, too good. He's been holding that position all half long. Now it's a four versus two, looking for map points here. After they got destroyed on Vertigo, 16 to four. We didn't think there'd be a chance of complexity here, but they have managed to step up, go above and beyond. A three on two now. Remember, Zipex did purchase the kit, but does he want to go for this at all? An upgrade for Magisk is probably the best they're going to pull out of this one. He realizes the same. But one round is all he needs now, and here comes the test. Shots. Confirms it with the steps, and will drop the incendiary should they commit. At least they're giving them ramp this time. They've been fighting way too much on that side of the map, and Zipex probably only good for one here as well. That's not going to be enough for Desert Eagle. That should be GG, boys. Four versus three now. M4 and a scout on the retake. They have no kits. Bomb going down. May just can't deny it. Yeah, that was their maybe their last saving grace. Device has done well to find config, so the hard hit is gone. But Magis can do pre a, a near impossible task. A two versus three against the weapons. And Poison does get caught out. Perhaps an AK for Dupree, but a 1v2 as well. No kit and no smoke. It's going to be an impossible task. He has to fake it now. And he can't even get a chance. Can't even get to the bomb. Complexity. Take nuke. We're going to three. We're going to train. Flame's got himself a nice little smoke for the bomb train. Glaive aggressive with a 5-7 in the pistol round. And well, that's worked out for him. The 5 7, you'll see a lot more of that. Pistol rounds starting to become quite prevalent, and the USP will always be remaining the same way. It's Oboe going down Ouch. after getting dinked at the very start of the round. The HE will find him. We did see Config do his best today, uh, an ace on the pistol round previously, so maybe we'll give it another shot for us. Yeah, Zipex not going to be able to get too much use out of his smoke now, perhaps for the retake once that bomb goes down. Two across, three set up now, one oil rush. Gonna have to do a lot with that position. Well, the fact they even get a bomb plant out of a five on three is actually looking great already. They didn't expect to win this round, but still, there is a chance now. Config's still alive with that P250. We saw what he's capable of on Nuke, but blame F now. One kill, but the bomb plant is the more important note here. Molotov down towards the Ivy position, flashes to follow, he gets on through. Oh, the bullet slowed him so much. He got tagged in the Molotov, it's a nasty way, but still the gap was found. Blame F will open the proceedings off with quite the frag. Now a quick response from Zipex. He isn't going to be able to slow them down, though. Instead, into the site, and Config's found the first. Complexity. This is looking very good for theirs. I think they're already saving. CTs are going to a CD spawn, so actually might be going for the long con here. Time will tell. That's a great shot from Glaive. They're back into the round now. They have the incendiary, the smoke, and they can make this work. Calls left side of train clear. Glaive closing in the timing. Oh, it's brutal. Nice catch from Obo. The smoke onto the site makes things awkward because there's already someone on it. Dupree's on it. It's half gone. The bullets connect. Dupree's off it. And now there's no time. Complexity. They take the round through chaos. And Magis oh. will get away with his rifle. A lovely second. You know who's where they are. Magisk is crosshairs in all the right places. And now they just send out the smoke. He actually gets two. No way. I can't believe that. Looking towards main, finishes off the frag Dupree oh. had started. <laughs> That's sick. He managed to get a second kill there. He's leaving Blame F just a little here. And no chance, surely, as Glaive will take him down. It's the UMP to find the frag. And three players survive for Astralis. We'll see if they can take care of them. That's better. Wow. That actually, that works as well. You just clothesline him. That yeah, a job. I guess Oboe's just single-handedly opening up this site that he's committed to a spray at a ridiculous range. It was blame. Oboe did get into the site and continues to tap away, chip away. He's doing spectacular. Oboe, triple kill into the site. He wants the quad and he's got it. He's a one-man army and now Dupree has been thrown into the wolves. A one versus four with the bomb being planted on the other side of the map. He's just going to have to be residing to a save.
All right, it hasn't landed, guys. I, I understand. Dude, but, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not being awkward about it. I mean, for sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. Poison's got the opening frag he wanted. He smokes, flashes remaining. Molotov's as well. Molotov towards the pop door. Gary sits, lands as if he's committed to this fight now. He's still burning. They know him. He's trapped in there. They're going to come down for sure. Great. How is no one they, dead? They ate their own flashbang. <laughs> Flame F. Did catch his teammates as well as Zipex, so a little bit of a delay on the conversion. But, but that's still. Oh, the timing again. Device just looked away as Oboe had peeked on out. A T smoke at the mouth of Pop does suggest one thing, and that's an inner hit. And well, that's where they're going. So is Dupree, though. My goodness, look how fast he just holds W. It's a capital W on his keyboard here. And he's going to catch Rush. There's no way they're expecting this much presence this fast. There's oh, two of them. Two. Oh, the plays. He wasn't ready. Blaine was above the smoke. He didn't spot him. It could have been a round winner. But instead, now just a 2v2. Blame F. Might have done enough at this point, but now has been detected here. The shotgun is enough. Just about there. Glaive will find the shell. And you're giving yourself a chance to find a couple of opening picks, but towards Yard we go. Yeah, Blame had a good chance for just a second. He could see an elbow. But Obo is already out, and he's looking like he's done all the hard work. Just two members make it three, excuse me, remaining for Astralis. But he's in hot water right now. Device trying to find a safe haven just to find any sort of line of sight already. Well, the bodies are dropped, and this is looking all good for complexity. The fastest and most successful round we've seen from them so far. And off we go. Full flash. He's looking for the jewel. Spray didn't quite connect, and Dupree, he's angling himself for survival. But through the smoke, Rush will connect. That's his first kill of the half. Didn't have to see the play up. Take those all day long, and Obo, he'll continue to do damage through the smoke here. It's a four versus three in complexity's favor here. Huge round. The investment from Astral is significant, but Magis, he might be able to save the day here. Coming in from main entrance, one minute ten on the clock, takes one player down, and they haven't planted yet. Bomb's actually towards Pop Dog. Did he spot him? That's Has bomb. now. That's such a huge amount of info, Magisk. There is a player to find, and it's Rush. He's gone down as well. This triple kill has dug Astralis out of quite the hole. And Obo, star player of their train T side so far. He's on 13. He has to clutch up. So he's got to get the bomb, kill two players, and somehow dissect these two. It's not going to happen, though. May just steals that one away from them. Well, then, up to Convict to try and give them an opening kill. He's got to run the corn lift first, though. Through the flames and smoke he goes. It actually works out for him. They didn't see that coming at all. This is looking great for complexity. First opening kills are theirs. Five on three, but they've taken considerable damage on route. Great shot from Dupree <laughs> through the smoke, apparently. Rush now. The shadow. Oh, he's full gray screen. If you ever wonder how stupid you look, there's a good example. <laughs> when you're walking through that smoke, just his full face sticking out of the body of the oh. smoke. Spray's not there. Yeah, but all a canary can do sometimes is just die. Like, and this time, <laughs> it's done the opposite. That didn't work out at all. It was close. It was looking so it was good. So I like make it look like a right swire here. Here we go. Didn't work out. He's hoping to catch that CT walk through the smoke. Any nutmegging back. would have been received by Rushley. This Not Rushley, the other one. Rushley. <laughs> they are going to go towards outside, I think. This could be not a nightmare. Him. Oh, and they do see Rush go down to 5-7 of Dupree. Ten seconds. They haven't really got enough time for this action. Blames gets baited out. He has to support the bomb plant. And now the pincer comes in. They're back to turn. They can't focus on all of these Astralis players. It's Dupree to get the double from behind and secure the 10th. They are using a lot of their utility early. And now talk about that in a second, because already down the ramp they go. Oh my god, that's a big duel for Zipex to try and take with just an MP9. It cost them two players, but they have access to the site, and now he arrives again in the kill feed. Zipex takes another one down, and now Poison does do well to find the Deagle shot. Clean onto Zipex. The second, oh. not too far away. So one versus four becomes a one versus two. Spots them oh. both, and the flash was there. He gets the shot. He's isolated them all into these jewels. He's looking for the clutch of a lifetime here. Oh, he might have done enough as well. He's got a smoke to get back towards the lower ramp if he wants to. There's the smoke. And he doesn't even have he to go stays, towards lower. Yes. He can just suggest Where that's what he's doing. Did, did it went under the train? I've never seen that before. What? I didn't even know that was possible. Where the bloody hell? Oh, yeah, there it is. You can see the smoky wheel. Oh, he didn't spot him as well. I think the CT's, I think the devices spotted him at this stage. 
He has no idea. He's lost the round. That's so unfortunate. The smoke is distracting, right, Chad? If you yeah. drop that smoke, you're thinking, right, I can now got his information. I've taken I'm, play, I'm gonna play around here. Away. I'm gonna deny it. We'll see where the complexity I've got it in their arsenal as they have two AT grenades here, one smoke, and they've taken a lot of damage at the start there. It's poisoning its dinked down to 24 points of health. That's towards inside, and they're going for a full send out of the upper ramp. Yeah, they've already managed to get pretty damn good control of the site. These jewels for poison are difficult, and that's the kit gone. Zipex does neutralize Oboe, and the bomb does go down. Zipex getting info on that ladder, does not lose his life for it. He's got a lot of players to deal with. He's got a count of about two. He probably hasn't seen the third just yet. Now he has. He's building a good image as to where all of these CTs are retaking from, and all it's costing him is the A and the D keys on his keyboard. Getting all that info and delays them considerably. Still, only three members remaining. Two oh. members, one member remains for Astralis. A flurry of frags, a defuse comes in. It was a must-win pistol, and they do it. Hobo. He'll be joined by Rush. Incendiary to go down momentarily. The smoke will come in first, though. It's looking like it'll do so oh, much oh, damage here. Oh. The bomb's gone down. The rotations will come through, and Astralis might be thinking about the save of the Glaive. He'll give him one last stab. Is there anything to be said about this round? Apparently not. Poison will confirm victory for complexity here. Bomb still down with a flash coming through. Zipex doesn't recover the C4. Device of the AWP, nice shot. But the MP9 is so close to his position, he might be in trouble here. Yeah, Device has got caught by Config's flank as well. So Zipex thrown into a one versus four. He has very quickly and astutely made one versus three. Config quite right to change his aggressive stance. He'll go back towards B. Make him uncomfortable. Unfortunately for him, he is out in the open and Config doesn't miss many shots. Go for something here right now. Very slow. Just trying to take some aggro away from main entrance to Glaive to swing out, I assume. And it's actually working pretty promising, actually. Poison rasps off a shot. He doesn't know Glaive's next to a double kill potentially here. <gasps> there we go. Justifies that investment in space oh, here. Gets the gosh. triple. He might even win the round for them. Device. He'll find the fourth and rush now. He's left to the impossible task. A four versus one. Dupree. Open hand now removed. And device. He'll be dropped as well. Rush might have something to say about this round. If the flashbang comes through, smoked out of position. One more flash will be thrown out here. If he brings it down to the one versus one, he probably wins it. Oh, only option here is a fake and a fast double kill, but. I don't see a world where Astralis sent both of them out to check. Yep, that's the round one. Might as well go for the defuse here. Hope for the best. There's a chance the Deagle shot's missing the back. We've seen it before. And uh, it will be complexity giving the round out final. The biz on. I never thought I'd live to see the day. No, Jackson. me either. I thought we were done with the fun guns, but is that, apparently... Is that how we say it, by the way? I've always called it the bison. Yeah, the, the biz on is a French is, gun. Is that we say it? There it is. Le Bizon succeeds. And uh, look, I'm glad he got rid of it and picked up an AK. That's a, a wise decision so right he, there. He's made his $600. Ooh. He's got his kill. He's got a rifle now. But Device has pulled one back. Looking for series point. Astralis just need three more kills to do so. But they're up against three and fours here. Obo will be playing towards inside. He's been doing a great job there as well. But he only has... Oh, well, he has got the incendiary and the HE as well. Good so timing. Perfect timing on that first one. Oh. to get the shot. He does. That's all that matters. But that might be a little bit difficult to handle now. Three versus two, both players towards outside. Bomb down, they've got Molotov, smokes, flashes. Should be series point here. They dust themselves off. Nuke and quite the start on their CT campaign again. Blaine with a double. Straight into main, throws caution to the wind and rushes flash, enables the push. And all hope was lost. Has found them something here. Oh, poison doesn't catch Glaive. It can happen again here. He managed to come out on top still with the spray, but Glaive will best him at this point. It's going to be a four on three. Yes. Rush gets it. It's a really cool idea from Glaive there. No one else is trying that move. Yeah, through the smoke. Uh, look, Looking at the floor, just to ensure your model is invisible. I mean, Zipex looks like he's cooked. And Glaive F will convert with a triple kill of his own creation. Nades towards the end. They know poison normally there. Can't think that up. And puts Astralis now into guessing territory. It's over towards Ivy that he's turned his attention. This pop flash will come on over. They can clear this out. Or get cleared out. Good Ooh. shot from Poison. No, I thought that was a couple of them. It actually brought it back to a three on three. A minute remaining. Remember, Astralis just need one more round here. And they've done enough. First game of the road to Rio. And Rush has been taken out of the equation. Yeah, it looks like it's... Down to Oboe to save the day for complexity. The FAMAS is oh. enough! The transfer! He is robotic!
Now just one more. Zipex spotted by Obo. He's got to oh, piece this one together. The bombs are T-spawn, no less. Zipex has got a, a mountain to overcome now. When, normally when we say bombs down T-spawn, we mean it's like kind of close to one yeah. of the main... That was actually the bomb down in T-spawn. That is a, a well, bit of a blunder right there. The thing, and luckily, he's still got 20 seconds here. And I think Obo's has lost track of him completely, right? So it hasn't come back to bite him just yet, but it certainly hasn't made things uh, advantageous, I would say. He's going to have to be loud. And that's going to help Obo position himself accordingly. He hasn't been able to upgrade his weapon. He's down to 42. And Zipex, with a smoke and a flash, is going for the plant Obo. Oh, no! Oh, Zipex is plant spot. It was so wide, he couldn't quite find it. Just on the other side of the bomb. And now Zipex can slink away. He is. And Oboe's going to oh. find him. But AK prevails. And Astralis, despite Oboe's best efforts in that last round, will take their opening game of their ESL1 Rotary.